Shalom, shalom, ladies and gentlemen. How are you guys doing? Pretty good? All right. I know the world's a pretty vexing place. We do the best that we can right now with what we got. We trust in Yahusha always, first and foremost, so that way we can keep our uh, uh, heads in the game. Um, today is going to be another video where uh, uh, I'm going to go at uh, Yahusha versus JESUS because uh, I wanted to just delve a little bit more into some of the things that uh, one group says and then some of the things the other group says and I want people to see the comparison so that way they can find out who they really serve and who they really worship because a lot of people have a misunderstanding that J-E-S-U-S -S is a messiah he is not and we're going to go through that obviously I wouldn't just say such a thing without s explaining myself and we're going to get into that my name is Matiahu your end time watchman thank you guys for joining me uh, thank you guys also for coming to the Shabbat talks I really appreciate when you guys come on there I love when we have new people on it's always a joy you guys are more than welcome to come on come to StreamYard, and uh, I, I put in a link uh, every Friday 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and you guys can come on live and chat with me if you have any questions or you just want to give a testimony or whatever that's fantastic so today it's Yahusha versus J-E-S-U-S, -S, the truth versus the lie. And somebody wanted me to change my title, but I'm not changing my title because I think that you had a misunderstanding. J-E-S-U-S -S is a false deity name, and this is important. What I'm talking about in this little vid series is very important, okay? So I don't want to ramble on too much. I want to just get right in the video. I'm trying to make these videos as quick as I can. So this is Yahusha versus J-E-S-U-S, -S, okay? Now we're going to look at scripture, right? And we're going to check out the differences between the two, okay? And then you find out which one you think you're either on or the one that you want to be on. You decide, okay? So, obviously I put Yahusha in one category and the J-E-S-U-S -S in another category. I like to start off with Yahusha. We are Torah keepers, okay? These are some of the things that show that we are in the actual truth. Okay, we are Torah keepers, and that's from Malachi 4. Remember the Torah of Moshe. But when you get to the J-E-S-U-S, -S, we see that the Torah is done away with. As a matter of fact, they've changed Torah. They've said things like, when it comes to the Sabbath, which we'll get into, that Yahusha is our rest, and that we do not need to rest on the Sabbath. This is changing Torah. Okay, they also call out this name, J-E-S-U-S, which is blasphemy, which also is against Torah. Remember, Torah are the instructions. Not just the ten words, but the whole scriptures. All of it is instructions. All of it is Torah. The Torah is Yahusha. Remember, one name has a meaning, the other name has no meaning and is an anti-Messiah character. Okay, the next thing on the list, let me get my hands up here. Next thing on the list is to eat clean. This is from Yahshiahu 66 verse 17. Eat clean, Versus eating unclean. Okay? Bacon and all kinds of bottom feeding, shellfish, lobster, all that stuff is unclean. Not good for you. Stay away from it. Eat clean. Now, Yahusha came in his father's name. J-E-S-U-S -S did not. Now in John 5, chapter 5, verse 43, we see this. 
okay? And it makes the claim about the other person that you would side with, well, let me get this straight, the other person that would be sided with, the other name that would come along that people would take, which would be this one. So they profane the name. They say saying the name doesn't matter, it's not important. Oh, let me get that right. Saying the name is, doesn't matter, it's not important, it's, no, it's not scriptural. Well, actually, it's very scriptural. I'm just naming one. I could name thousands. Now, the Shabbat, we are to keep the Shabbat. Exodus 31, 16, it's an eternal covenant sign. They do not believe in the Sabbath. They teach you to not rest on the Sabbath. They say Yahushua is your rest, so every day is Sabbath. Show me a scripture where it says it just like that. No scripture says that. They are putting words into Yahushua's mouth that were not there. They have good intentions, I understand that, but they have a lack of understanding, a lack of knowledge. Hosea chapter 6, verse 4, if I'm not mistaken, my people die from lack of knowledge, and they will die if they don't straighten up their act. Repent. If you're, doing the, if you're not doing these things and you're claiming to be saved and claiming to be a believer, like I said in the last video I did about Yahushua and J-E-S-U-S, you need to repent under the true name. Now, the son is who Yahushua is, the S-O-N. But J-E-S-U-S -S is always associated with the S-U-N, son worship. Son worship, guys. And there are so much symbolism and so many things that you could point out in Christianity, Catholicism, and, and so many other religions. But mostly we're talking about J-E-S-U-S and Christianity. Their symbol is the, the, the cross, which is a solar crux after the sun. Now, Yahushua is one. We teach the oneness. That's John 10, verse 30. Yahushua is one. I and the Father are one. Yet, in, if you believe in J-E-S-U-S, you have a trinity and you have a problem there. You have a problem there. You cannot have more than one. How many brides does Yahushua have and how many bridegrooms do we have? We have one. One. Okay? Oneness. His meaning, or yeah, his meaning, or excuse me, or has meaning, the name Yahushua, has meaning. It means Yah is salvation. But we know that J-E-S-U-S -S has no meaning. Well, the meaning that it has is, in Hebrew, means the horse. And we all know L-O-R-D is Baal, B-A-A-L. L-O-R-D. So people say G-O-D, L-O-R-D, J-C. All of these are incorrect. They're, they have Greek roots, which go into excuse me, go into the name Zeus, okay, which would be an anti-Messiah, or do we go to the Hebrew roots, which we have the true Messiah, which is the true way, okay, guys, so that's why we want to be very careful, now, I want you guys to take a good hard look at this list, Please understand that I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings and I'm not trying to stab at anybody or poke at anybody. I just want people to see the truth. And there's much more to this. Please keep, please keep uh, paying attention to my videos. I'll be doing more of these. Yahushua versus J-E-S-U-S. -S. Who is the real Messiah? Please stand up. Who do we worship? And what is his name? And what is his son's name? If you know it. That's Proverbs 30, verse 4. And John, chapter 3, verse 18, are parallel verses talking about the name. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys joining me. I hope that we learned a little bit of something on this. And I hope that we can continue to grow in our understanding because that's what we need to do. Okay? I Once again, I want to say I... I used to say J-E-S-U-S, -S, okay? And I thought I was saved under that name, but I was not. I did not have salvation. My salvation lied in Yahushua. Yah is our salvation, not J-E-S-U-S, -S, which has no salvation in it. Now I have real salvation. I have repented in the true name, been immersed. That means baptized in the true name for, for salvation. That's what it says in Acts 2, uh, Acts 2.38. So that's what I urge all of you guys to do. 
Listen, I love all you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. You can join me, like I said, live every Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for my Shabbat Talks. You guys click the link that I put in the in the uh, side chat uh, for YouTube, and then you guys click that link, come on live, and you can talk with me. All right? And if you have any questions, you want to go over any of the stuff that I talked about, I, I'm more than willing to do that. I'm more than willing to have debate, discussions, whatever. Or if you just want to give a testimony, tell us about your journey in Yahusha. That's fantastic, too. We're all, also willing to listen and hear about that because those are always wonderful things to hear uh so anyways i love you guys with all my heart let me get ready here thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for being a part of this journey that we're all on we're all on this walk together and remember it's all about love everything that we teach is all about love because we love we care our hearts are filled with so much love we care so much that we want people to go to heaven not under this false deity which will lead you to hell all right, it's heaven, Yahusha, or hell, J-E-S-U-S. -E you decide. Please make the right choice, you know? I urge you to anyways. Listen, I love you guys with all my heart. At the end of all my videos, I love to say, run to Yahusha.